Mike Gundy's definitely not a secret. The success of Mike Gundy, also not a secret, but Mike Gundy does have the best secret recruiting class in the 2024 realm. The fastest freshman on the team is competing to be the strongest on the team, and sometimes it's all about the journey and how you get there. So we have a camp guest to talk about as well around the corner. You are Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma State Cowboys, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, y'all, and hello, all. Welcome back to Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily stop for all things cowboy and cowgirl related. My name is Cody Stovall. I want to thank you kindly for stopping by to make this your first listen. We're available on all of your podcasting platforms, visually as well on YouTube. Find me personally on X at All Day O State. Today, we're partially brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment matter more as playoffs wind down and summer heats up. FanDuel's hooking up all customers with a boost or a bonus daily. There's something in this for everyone every day all summer long. Make sure you visit FanDuel.com to get started today. Meanwhile, we get started in the conversation of our favorite sport, foosball, and this freshman class. Ladies and gentlemen, it is amazing to know that the strongest player on the team is Justin Kirkland. It's also amazing to know that the next strongest player on the team is a true freshman Armstrong Notum. And when you think of a linebacker, you think of the All-American Nick Martin and the speed that he brings to the game. Here to tell you, the fastest freshman linebacker is Gunnar Wilson. Gunnar Wilson was one of those players that popped up on film last season as somebody that obviously was undervalued, underutilized, under-recruited, and it didn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. Thankfully, Oklahoma State was one of those teams that was able to come around late and get Gunnar on the roster. The dude ballooned up to six foot three, 220 pounds. And with some Rob Glass, you know it's going to get even better. He got stronger. He made the transition from tight end to exclusive middle linebacker. And if there's any freshman that's going to play right away, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it's going to be Gunnar Wilson. Gunnar Wilson is going to be an asset, at least on special teams. But again, his journey to Oklahoma State is worth its weight in gold as it sits. Sometimes it's the guys that are out willing to work everybody else that make the best stories. Those are the dudes that typically end up at OSU. Just like Armstrong Notum, six foot two, 290 pounds. Maybe he wasn't viewed as a legitimate Division I prospect. And now he's over there lifting next to the dude who can move mountains and lift houses. And Justin Kirkland. Those are just a couple freshmen that have an expectation to do something because they've already been doing big things. Lando Cleveland dealt with an injury early. He's good to go now. He's a freshman that has the talent to see the field very, very quickly. We saw a little bit of Sessi last season. Is there a running back that could potentially jump out on the field? So far, Rodney Fields has been very impressive. Thus far, the conversations of, of him have not been about a scat pack, about a lightning package guy. It has been that he's not afraid to lower his shoulder and have some fun getting downhill. Getting north and south for a true freshman in this system, not the easiest thing to do. When you have Charlie Dickey in the offensive line at your disposal, of course, it's going to be a big deal. But the freshman that might play are the conversation everywhere, all across the country for every fan base. So those are a few freshmen that, that I definitely expect to get the opportunity to get on the field. Trey Griffiths, the wide receiver who has almost a 40-inch vertical. Could he be one of the young dudes that sees the field? We don't have an overabundance numerically at wide receiver, so it's definitely a possibility. Now, from a linebacker perspective, we know we're squared away. We know we're pretty deep. We know we got, got guys like Jeff Robertson. Of course, now we all know Kendall Daniels and Gabe Brown. Whether they're waiting in the wings or they're already ready to see the field, it's good to know that you've got people like Gunnar Wilson, Jonathan Agumato, Tamaric Johnson waiting in the wings to get prepared to have a Colin Oliver role, to have a Nick Martin role. And how sweet is it to hear that we have a true freshman that is running stride for stride almost every day with Nick Martin the All-American linebacker who might be the fastest linebacker in the Big 12. He was the best linebacker in the Big 12 last season, probably the fastest as well. He has gotten better. Thank you, Rob Glass. So any freshman that's looking to get development, to have the opportunity to play for Big 12 title games, to play in CFP playoff opportunities, are bound to come to Stillwater. So it's no wonder 
while you've got so many people out here trying to get to Oklahoma State camps, and realistically, some of these camps, whether they're private, public, doesn't matter, it fills up very, very quick. It's hard to get an invite now to an Oklahoma State camp, and if you do, thank your lucky stars, because this is a defense that's producing linebackers in, in the NFL as we speak. How many do we have? Several. How many do we have waiting to go? If you look at Nick Martin, if you look at Jeff Robertson, I mean, heck, Xavier Benson was just drafted in the UFL. You've got Amen on Bang Lamiga. You've got Malcolm Rodriguez. I think that we all can see that the position of need is linebacker. And it's not that we need it. It's that we love to develop it. And if you can get somebody that is going to dedicate themselves to a multitude of things, especially a multiple sport athlete, Guys, a long time ago, being a multi-sport athlete was viewed as, as the best thing in the game. And now it's even on a bigger scale. Coaches like Mike Gundy traditionally only recruit dual-sport athletes. And you got guys like Armstrong Notum, who was known to be a big-time power lifter in high school. Makes sense that he's already got the strength and the size to hang with somebody like a Justin Kirkland or a Colin Clay. Gunnar Wilson coming in kind of undervalued, of course. His size plus the Rob Glass system and his speed have made him a seamless transition for a young cat. Well, we've got another potential linebacker that's a young cat that just got through a cowboy camp. So we'll hear a little bit about him, his journey, and what it was like at the OSU camp because he's been to several big-time camps thus far. Before we get to that, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to remind you out here that you need to be the MVP of everything. And you can't be the MVP of anything if you can't get there. eBay Motors has you covered the right passion, drive, and patience to make you the MVP. Starts with you getting on eBay Motors. With over 122 million parts to choose from, it is super easy to keep your ride or die rig alive. Whether it's speed, power, style, eBay Motors has you covered. The eBay guaranteed fit also means the Parts guaranteed to fit your rig every time or your money back. So with eBay Motors, you know the objective. Say it with me. We want you burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need, all the prices you want, it is very easy to turn your rig into the MVP today. Bring home the next big W for you by keeping your ride or die rig alive at eBay Motors. Again, that is ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. And eBay guaranteed fit only available for U.S. customers. Why? Because you guys are special. Just like Oklahoma State has the, the most special development dude in the country in Rob Glass, it's nice to talk to some dudes that have been through the Oklahoma State camp. So this next gentleman is just off of his Oklahoma State camp. He's been to several camps looking to play linebacker, but he also plays running back and quarterback and safety. This seems to be a common theme with Oklahoma State, right? Well, this Gentry, Arkansas native brings in 62 tackles off of last season. Three sacks, five and a half tackles for a loss, two picks, multiple touchdowns, 388 yards rushing. He's got some passing yardage as well to go alongside the defensive prowess. The first time I got this young man's film, I said, well, maybe we need to see a little bit more speed. Maybe we need to see a little bit more size. I didn't realize he was in the middle of baseball season. So then I said, baseball, you know the drill. Show me more. And then I find that he has a 10, 7, 1, 10 split. For those who don't know, the top 10 2025 class fastest baseball players in the country run from a six, a 160 to a 173. So this makes sense. The speed is there. He put on what 15 pounds in just a matter of a couple months. And he's got a power lifting state title. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully a future cowboy linebacker. Bennett, Roberts, how are we feeling today, young man? Man, we're feeling great. Feeling great. So you're you're fresh off of the Oklahoma State Cowboy camp, but before we get to that, I, I did want to mention the, the dual sport, the multiple sport thing that you're doing. First of all, thank you for playing baseball, man. That's what really got me in on you hook, line, and sinker was when I saw the baseball stuff, it just it, it made sense that you had a lot more to go, a lot more to grow, and then I find out that you just won a state title in powerlifting. So that, that might have a hand in it. Tell us a little bit about that, winning that state title. What was that like? 
So, uh, man, it was it was really something else. It was a good time out there. Uh, we actually went out to Oklahoma City uh, for the NASA National. As one does. As one does. Yes, sir. Um, man, there were several. There was a bunch of teams there. There was sh- uh, how many states were there? There was ten different states there, from Texas to New York. There was all kinds of big old hosses there, uh, for sure. So it was a lot of fun out there. Awesome. Uh, so you have had the opportunity to visit several camps. Uh, you just got done with Oklahoma State. You also got to the opportunity to go down to SMU, UCF, Marshall. Uh, there's some other ones mixed in there as well, including Harding, who's a national champion in their own right. Tell us a little bit about the, these camps and what it's been like for you in the middle of doing powerlifting and playing baseball. And if you could uh, kind of tell us why Oklahoma State seemed to hit just a little bit different than some of the other ones. Man, uh, for sure, all the way, all as a kid, I've had a dream of going to places like Oklahoma State, OU, Arkansas. But, like, Oklahoma State, just like, I don't know, it's just different out there. For sure, after seeing it, it's different than anywhere else I've been. Uh, and, like, I've been to places like Orlando at UCF, uh, Dallas, SMU, um, where else, Arkansas. Um, Harding was really cool for, their, for a D2. But, like, there's really nothing like Stillwater and the environment out over there and just things like that. It's just crazy. So did you have the opportunity to get to, you know, chop it up a little bit with Rob Glass, the king of getting guys bigger, stronger, and faster real quick, fast, and in a hurry? I did a little bit, not Good. too much. Uh, he left right before the camp started. Okay. Um, but I did get to talk to you guys like Justin Gordon, um, uh, who else I talked to? Coach Nardo, um, a bunch of LB analysts, all kinds of people. It was just a good time. So how was Coach Nardo, man? I've been, you know, I've been hooting and hollering at the moon that he is just a different cat. He recruits differently. He talks differently. He has a little bit of a different spin on a three-three-five defense. Uh, what what in the g- engagement that you had with him really stood out? Because I hear it a lot that Brian Nardo is very very different, which is great for Stillwater. What in your mind kind of separated Nardo from some of the other great coordinators you've got to speak with? Man, he's just fun. He's a fun guy. <laughs> um, he is definitely a player's person. Uh, a lot of the guys are there for their job. They're there for the money. But I don't think Coach Nardo is like that. Um, he's really just a fun guy. So that's really the biggest difference between him. He's got that edge, I can tell. He's got the uh, – ability to win and all that. He's just like, he's fun. Well, you mentioned uh, Justin Gordon. I did a show the other day at, in, in regards to the coaches that we just could not get rid of under any circumstances. Well, thankfully, every single coach on staff signed a new a two-year extension. That's beneficial. But whenever you look at something like the development of Oklahoma State linebackers, what was something – coming to this camp that really surprised you was it the whether it was the campus or the food or the the strength the conditioning the facilities what about Oklahoma State um did you not expect to kind of surprise you I didn't realize how like big of a town it was I guess you could say okay. like even like Stillwater High School is just huge you know we don't yes. have that stuff unless you're at like Fayetteville Bentonville those areas Greenwood here there's just nothing really like that um still water that's just a crazy city well you mentioned the the blue collar you know very simplistic it allows you the opportunity to focus on your craft whether it's just learning the playbook or or developing in the strength and conditioning category but you also have to take into consideration as a freshman you have to get used to classes and you have to get loose to the, the the campus and there's a lot that goes into it and you'd mentioned earlier off air that Oklahoma State really encompasses the way that you view life. Um, And as you look at Oklahoma State kind of as that right fit, where do you see this current Oklahoma State system with Brian Nardo running a little bit of a different version of the 3-3-5 and how that's applicable to your game right now? Um, Probably the best year of my life, football-wise, I was playing a 3-3-5, so I just – I really like that defense, number one. Um, and then another huge benefit of it is the strength and conditioning in there and getting that speed down. Like, my my biggest problem right now was my speed. And then, like, 
just last <laughs> week I hit a four seven three or something like that, and I can finally see this improvement starting. That's just from high school. So the high school yeah. to college step up is just crazy. Going to be crazy. I feel. Well, and that was the first thing that that caught my eye in the film was, you know, that needed to get a little bit faster, needed to put on a little bit of weight. And the next thing I know, right, you're you're shaving three tenths off of your your 40 in just a couple months. And you put on like 12, 13 something pounds in just a couple months. Um, and, and then obviously the baseball and the power lifting. That's what kind of led me to believe, all right, this, this dude not only has something, but that 10 split alongside with the rapid development, the weight that you put on, the speed that you picked up, you just recently got like a, a private coach to help you in those categories. Is that, is that accurate as well? Yes, sir. I, and how did I that kind speech. of, how did you, why did you decide to make that decision? Um, you know, obviously like what I was doing by myself wasn't really cutting what I needed. Uh, and I honestly just do better and that like, with somebody coaching me and telling me what I'm doing wrong and filming it and doing all that. And I just really needed that extra boost that um, coach Daryl gave me and, you know, just things like that. I love it. So before we shift gears real quick, I am going to kind of ask you, I already asked you maybe what was the biggest surprise about your, your visit to Stillwater, Oklahoma. Maybe tell us what was the, your biggest moment at the camp? What was the the biggest moment for you specifically at, at the camp? Uh, the biggest moment for me was probably one-on-ones. Uh, -on -ones. Um, there was one play in particular where a kid did a 10-yard outbreaking route, and he's a really quick kid. I got to undercut it and pick the ball um, and, you know, run it back a little bit, and Coach Gordon was going crazy, and just things like that it was real fun. So I asked this question to a lot of the multi-sport dudes. In your in your personal opinion, what is better, throwing a touchdown, catching a, a pick, or causing a sack, or hitting a home run? Oh boy. Um. Oh man, I remember specifically my sophomore year. We were playing our big rival, Grab It, and I had a sack the first drive of the game, and. Uh, it was crazy because, like, the whole crowd was going absolutely nuts. And uh, there's really just – I've never had a feeling kind of like that. And it was pretty surreal, I guess. Was and, that the game you had, like, 230 yards rushing or something ridiculous? No, sir. This was, that, uh, the 230-yard rushing was my junior year. My sophomore year okay. was um, that one. Awesome. So, speaking of – um, so I'm sure you have some expectations coming into this season. Uh, Gentry has experienced back-to-back seven-win seasons, which is realistically a big deal, right? If you go back 23 years, this is some of the more successful se seasons. But you do have some major offensive weapons to replace, so we'll talk about that real quickly. But before we do, I have to also tell people it's money-making season, right? And if your change is acting a little strange, your money's acting a little funny, you got to get with FanDuel. Give yourself an opportunity to capitalize alongside Mike Gundy on this Oklahoma State season. Guys, you already know that FanDuel is the best in the game as the playoffs wind down and the summer heats up. They're no, they know the sports aren't giving us everything we need. So they're allowing us to make a bet pretty much whenever we want. All you've got to do is open the app, dream it up, and make it happen. This summer, FanDuel's hooking up all customers with a boost or a bonus daily. There's something in this for everyone every day, all summer long. It doesn't matter. You don't see the over-under as Oklahoma State as a disadvantage. It is an opportunity to hammer the over. Let's make the money today by visiting FanDuel.com. It is the best time to be a Cowboy and, a, and then get the Cowboys in your, your betting wallet at FanDuel.com the official betting partner of Major League Baseball and almost everything else. All righty, buddy. So as we look forward to uh, what you're able to do in the season with Gentry replacing a 1,300-yard rusher and a, a very, very viable senior wide receiver, what are some of the things that you specifically are looking forward to this year in high school football in Arkansas? Um. For, uh, you know, it's just kind of crazy being a senior already and just finally getting to lead your team 
Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think we've had a great off season. Uh, we've got a bunch of new transfers, especially offensive weapons, but they also contribute on defense. Um, we actually moved our 1300 yard rusher to our wide out spot on the offense. Wow. Um, and you know, just kind of like the expectation of like me and my fellow, uh, seniors is just going to be really fun to live up to and exceed. Like, I think this is going to be our best year in a while and it's been our best off season in a while. It's just going to be great all out. So who is the, the biggest team in your division or league that you feel like you have to look out for? Well, what's the game everybody should tune in and make sure that they all catch? So the most fun one is obviously going to be Gravit, our rivals. They're always okay. pretty good, and we're pretty neck and neck every year. Um, the best team, everybody says, is Elkins. We play them week four. Um, they all they have a history of really being good. So that will be a fun one to play. So I've, I've compared you, right, in, in as far as the development and the undervalued you know, appreciation of somebody like a Gunnar Wilson, a linebacker currently at Oklahoma State, um, but like you, he's played a little bit of everything. And I think that was part of his under recruiting throughout high school was he played a little bit of everything, right? Running back, half back, tight end, full back, strong safety, free safety, linebacker. And it really took him till his senior year to hone in on primarily being a linebacker. Is that going to be similar for you? Or are you going to be jack of all trades again this year, doing some wildcat, doing some rushing, you know, playing some safety and linebacker? How do you see your, your role this season? Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be jack of all trades again, you okay. know, being, like a, <laughs> being at a school, uh, small school like myself, I'm going to be playing running back, quarterback, wildcat, uh, linebacker. I'm sure they'll put me at DN some, um, or walk up the end, um, just all kinds of stuff. Really. There, we also have like a really multitude of things we can do at the linebacker position running a three, four. So that was my next question. So uh, from a three, four, where do you play? You know, mostly at linebacker. Are you more of an inside guy? Will Sam? Or what are you? What are you doing at the moment? I've always played uh, inside backer. Okay. We have a Mike and a Jack. We really like to do a true Mike system. So uh, our Mike will be really run. I'm kind of dynamic with what I do. I'll drop back into coverage. I'll blitz. I'll walk up at the end. I'll do really whatever they need me to do at the moment and where we're at in the game. So. So on on your senior season, are you also going to be powerlifting and playing baseball as well? Uh, yes, sir. I'm still trying to figure out all the things with uh, where I'm going to be at, if I'm going to graduate early. Um, you know, Coach, um, one of the coaches asked me at Oklahoma State if I had all my stuff to graduate early uh, and all that, and I do. So we're just going to see where that takes me. Well, yeah, buddy, I, I wanted to say that uh, I am appreciative of you making a good showing at the camp. You know, I think you did put yourself in a good position that if you continue to have the trajectory that you have currently and you keep putting in, in the work, speaking of that, putting in the work section, what is one of your individualistic things that you're trying to focus on this year? Is it more tackles? Are you, are you trying to get more picks, more sacks, more speed? What What is the individual thing that you're trying to hone in on um i don't know so much if i have an individual goal okay. um but i would say all things i just want to improve on all my things like i had 142 tackles last total tackles last year that's gonna be hard to beat but i think i can do it uh, i know i need to get faster i know to get, i need to get stronger which i'm doing um just like really round off my game Quite a bit. Goodness me. Well, you need to tell Max Preps. They got some updating to do, my brother. They've, they've yes, definitely sir. got some updating to do. Hey, man, um, how can the fine folks out here kind of follow your, your process, of not only going through the season, but as you continue to go through the recruiting realm? How can they see uh, what you have going, brother man? Uh, I, I posted a lot on Twitter. Um, I don't know my username off the top of my hand, but um i post a lot on twitter what's going on what different games are happening where i'm at each day um uh they can follow my instagram bennett robert zero uh that's pretty much all the social media stuff i do with football and all that but obviously i'll be keeping in touch with y'all and doing all that and letting y'all know what's 
going on. Well, you see, you didn't have to know your Twitter handle because I put it up there for us. For those of you who happen oh, to I catch the that. YouTube, uh, we've got Bennett's Twitter X handle, whatever you want to call it, scrolling down here at the bottom of the screen. For those of you out there looking to track Bennett on the socials on Twitter, it's Bennett, B-E-N-N-E-T-T, 84720-889. I don't know if that's uh, some special number you got there, buddy, but uh, that's no. probably why you don't remember it. Because it's it's it, got a decent amount of numbers attached to it. Yes, sir. Uh, Twitter. I guess Twitter gave me that when I was like twelve or whatever I was, uh, and I never figured out how to change it. So, well, I'm I'm sure you can play some game of some configuration. There's a good chance some of those numbers will be a part of your college number. So there's that. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're just you're running the gamut here, hitting on all the numbers. Yes, All right, sir. brother, man. Well, hey, I greatly appreciate your time. And, and everybody, make sure that you follow Bennett and Gentry, Arkansas, to see how you guys shake out this year as they try to make their playoff run. Bennett's going to be an integral part of that. I can't wait to see some of the clips of you wildcatting your way into the end zone. Double up yes, the sir. TDs, buddy. Hey, keep chipping away. Keep chipping yes, away. What, what, what you're doing is quintessential for the success that we've had at Oklahoma State the right fit right time and you're the right kind of guy i appreciate you going to camp and uh and and making a good account of yourself and having fun and putting yourself on the map yes sir i Alrighty, appreciate y'all absolutely thank you very much for your time yes sir thank you i'll see y'all later yes sir all righty y'all well i reckon that's all we're gonna have for this one right here it's it's nice to Kind of, you know, catch up on some of these camp guys. And I do have to give a shout out to the, the coaching staff that helped get Bennett into the event, even though it kind of filled up. I'm glad he was able to get squeezed in. I appreciate you all. And I appreciate him making a really good account of himself and putting himself in a position to be a cowboy here for hopefully too long. All righty, y'all. That's all we're going to have for this one right here. As always, you know I love you. God bless. Go Pokes. And thank you for tuning in to make this your first listen here on Locked On Oklahoma State. Like it if you like the daggone thing. Dislike if you don't. That's okay, too. More importantly, share, comment, and subscribe. My podcast and folks out there, you're the bricks, the foundation of bread and butter. Do what you do. Hit the stars, leave a review. That is all. Later, my taters. <laughs>